Hello. This week has been so crazy, busy, spontaneous. Earlier in the week, I was in New York City. That was such a treat. I really want to move there. It's so... Like, when I was there, I just felt like I was on this kind of snowball. It was kind of like a snowball effect. It was like, this thing is happening, this, 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 and this. Like, so much goes on when you're in the city. Um, and then you return to normal life, and it's like... But this week, the weather has been a little crummy in New York, New Jersey. It was snowing on Monday night. Then it turned into, like, rain. Then now it's cloudy. This week, I haven't been the most... How you say motivated. I've been doing my 2023 goals consistently, but this week just did not do any of that. So I'm like chronically tired. I just haven't been able to get out of bed as a normal person should. I don't know. My eyes have been feeling like they weigh a hundred pounds. So we gotta fix that. Right now we're gonna go to the store and get some avocados because I don't have any. Just kind of like reset I just kind of do a little reset. I have some coffee left over in the fridge. I door dashed pliables. Pliables, let me show you. Like I haven't even been able to make myself coffee. If you get a, a cold brew with some oat milk and agave, that is, it's good. It's lunchtime. I, <laughs> I'm on my lunch break. I'll be back and then we'll make some breakfast. I used to not like avocados, but ever since I started doing the avocado toast, I've just been loving avocados. We'll just make some toast. Do Dave's Killer Bread, avocado spread, Himalayan pink salt, and pepper. You probably have the ingredients in your house already. So let's get started. So all we're gonna do is just, you could kind of slice the avocado, whatever you want. Whatever gets it out easier. There's no preference because the avocado is just going to melt. It's going to spread so easily right on the toast. I don't think this one's like ripe enough to do that, but I, I promise. Ooh. I literally just almost sliced my finger. So I feel like I'm not a big breakfast person. I never really have been. Um, I'll have like the occasional cereal. I love cornflakes or Honey Nut Cheerios, but I feel like I never have that for breakfast. I'll have that as like a snack, like a midnight snack. I usually prefer like lunch for breakfast. Some potatoes, hash browns. I'm not like a big sweets person. I prefer like salt really. I don't know if you have like any good suggestions, but definitely let me know because I want to start getting into having more breakfast and being healthier. I want to be more open to having things. I don't really like eggs that much. If I have to eat it, like I'll, there's like deer running. I will like force myself to eat it, but so you're gonna grab some pink Himalayan salt and pepper and simply just go right over it. I think it actually, so I think the recipe actually calls for butter too, but since there's like avocado on it, but I'm sure it like enhances the flavor. Here's the finished result. It smells really good. I'm so excited. There's so much avocado on here. Okay, I'll tell you what I did this week. So it all started when I was born. No, <laughs> so it all started on Monday and I got invited to go to the US premiere for the movie Champions. You actually need to go see Champions. It is such a cute story and it's so it's so funny. There was even some points where I wanted to start crying, but like I had my makeup on so I knew I couldn't do that. But there was this one part and I was just like <laughs> I literally almost started bawling my eyes out just because of joy, but like it was so emotional. I don't know. It's about like a coach. Uh, he's kind of like a arrogant guy, kind of like Charlie Sheen. That's kind of the vibe that he was playing, like that character. His community service task was to coach a team of basketball players who had intellectual disabilities. Afterwards, I got to meet the cast of the movie and they were literally so sweet. I met Woody Harrelson, he's the star of the movie, and Kristen Olsen, except I didn't get to meet Kristen. I was in my dress and, you know, my heels, and then later that night it started snowing. I was in New York City, it started not like blizzarding, but it was snowing, it was no rain, no rain. It was cold. <laughs> so that was Monday night. And then Tuesday, just kind of explored, went to the Google office, and it was raining all Tuesday, basically, kinda. 
it was just like not good weather. Wednesday morning, I come home just in time for work. I log on to work. I got home at like nine o'clock. Since I got back, I haven't been the same, but that's okay because let me tell you something. Last June, I think I told you, I made a little vlog about it. I don't know if you saw it, but I went to California to go on a TV show. So that was the secret from all the way back then. I didn't realize I'd have to, you know, keep it in this long, but that's my secret. If you saw my vlog, it's probably posted back June, July. So the funny thing is I went, <laughs> so I flew to California. I was supposed to only be there for like two days maybe. And I flew to California in June. I get there, I'm really happy. I explore a little. I get back to my hotel just in time to go to sleep to get ready for the show. It was a 7 a.m. call time. I'm sleeping and I get a call at 3 a.m. Like, who calls at 3 a.m.? So I pick it up. It goes, Maria, I'm sorry, but you can't come on the show today. So I, <laughs> so I literally start crying in my room. I'm just like, oh my gosh, I flew all the way out here. I can't even go on the show. That was my first time in California. Long story short, I just flew back and then um, a couple weeks later, I flew back to California to do the show, like actually. So I did it in July and I got to explore California again. Um, you probably know, like I love California. So that happened. <laughs> if you ever want to do something like that, 100% sign up to try out like a game show. It was just an awesome experience. <laughs> Besides like the first time getting the call at 3 a.m. saying that I couldn't come on the show. Nonetheless, it's funny because I feel like I do my work nine to five and then sometimes I'm just like out and about doing stuff that's very uncharacteristic of someone who does my job, you know? And I have you to thank a hundred million percent. That's my story. It's about three o'clock right now. I'm almost done for the week. We're grinding. I, um, so I have the rest of the day to not worry if I have to attend a meeting. I've been going into the office a little bit more. I've been really sucky at vlogging my experience at the office, but I do have some things, so I'm gonna put it like right here. There's one in New Jersey that I specifically go to that's like an hour away from me, but honestly, not a lot of people go into the office. So when I'm there, it's usually me and then like, a handful of people in the room with me and I guess spread out throughout the building. I went to one in Philadelphia too and that was really cool. That one made me really feel like a businesswoman. Just met up with my project group in person. That was really cool. I do go in just to meet up with and collaborate with my um, co-workers just to see them in real life. You know, be an actual person. <laughs> 